courting and fooling is this before my door? Oh, well, may both be honest, I pray, though they be poor. Kitty, ho, my little fellow. Go on, may we not be here? Well, speak gently to her. Hey, you are too tender-hearted. Nay, dame, I will be playing with you when my friends come. Well, let all this pass, sweetheart, and accept my service. I will not be served with a fool. When I choose a husband, I hope to take a man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and where will you find one that can do all that he can? I sent him a full answer by way of you, did I not? Oh, yay, and I reported it. Oh, no, I must speak it again. Oh, no, no, she told it all. Was I not meekly plain? Yes. Dame, husband, this goodly person is meant no less than to join with you in marriage. Let him wait no more labor nor suit about me. Ah, uh, you know not where you're from. Why, if I see him sending you such a token ring and letter? Marry, here it is. He never saw a better. Let me see that letter. Hold, read it if you can, and see what letter it is to win a woman. <clears throat> To mine own dear Coney Bird, sweetheart and darling, good Mistress Cuthbert presents these by and by. Some good superscriptions you lay in the style. With the rest is good stuff if you read a great while. <laughs> Sweet mistress, whereas I love you nothing at all, regarding your substance and riches chief of all, for your purses, personage, beauty, demeanor, and wit, I commend me unto you never a whit. Sorry to hear reports of your good welfare, for such your conditions are that ye be worth favor of no living man, to be abhorred of every honest man, to be taken for a woman inclined to bite, nothing at all to hurt you, given her due price. <laughs> Wherefore, concerning marriage, ye are thought such a fine paragon as ne'er honest man bought. And now, by these presents, I do you advertise that I am minded to marry you in no wise. For your goods and substance, I would be content to take you as you are. If ye mind to be my wife, ye shall be assured for the time of my life, I will keep you right well from good raiment and fair. Ye shall not be kept but in sorrow and care. <laughs> ye shall in no wise live at your own liberty. Do and say what ye may, ye shall never please me. <laughs> but when ye are sorry, I will be glad. When ye are merry, I will be all sad. When ye seek your heart, please, I will be unkind. At no time in me shall ye much gentleness find. <laughs> but all things contrary to your will and mind shall be done. Otherwise, I will not be behind to speak. And as for all them that would do you wrong, I will so help and maintain, ye shall not live long. <laughs> Nor any foolish dolt shall come to you but I. I, who e'er say nay, will stick by you till I die. Thus, good Mistress Custom, the Lord you save and keep from me, roasted oyster, whether I wake or sleep, who favoreth you no less than this letter performance, which ye have untold. Oh, my this letter of love, is it not fine? By the arms of Calais, it is none of mine. By you are to blame, this is your own hand. Might not a woman be proud of such a husband? Oh, that in such a letter you would sow such a spike. Oh, I would I had him here, the witch did it indict. You wrote it yourself, you told me by that light. Well, yes, I, I meant I wrote it mine own self yesterday. He was, sir, uh, not to send me such a mock. Well, you may so take it. But I meant it not so by cost. Well, who can blame this woman to fume, fret, and rage? For fire, you have marred your old marriage. Her name, Dame Cousins, if you could miss or admit, the gentleman might otherwise your love acquit. No. God be with you both, and speak no more to me. <laughs> Pleasure of you take. Play the man's part. 
And you love her friend. If she despises you, despises her in again. And by God, thou speakest truth. I defy her indeed. Nay, except her chance that way you shall not sooner see it. For one mad quality these women have in faith. When, when, when you will, they will not. Will not ye, then will they. Oh, foolish woman, ah, most unlucky custom. Ah, peevish woman, ah, most unfortunate custom. <laughs> Canst not thou love this man who has loved thee so well? Art thou so much thine own foe? Now, thou dost the truth tell. Well, I lament. So do I. Wherefore? For this thing, because she is gone. I mourn for another thing. What is this, Mary Greek Wolf? Wherefore thou dost take grief? That I were not a woman myself for your sake. I would not, I warrant you, fall into such a rage as to refuse such a goodly person. In faith, Mary Greek, I have a faith. If I were a woman, thou wouldst to be thee. Yes, for though I say it, a goodly person ye be. No, no. As a goodly person as God made no, me. No, I am a poor, holy man as God made me. Oh, by the faith I owe to God, sir, but ye be. You dare say thou wouldst take me to thy husband. Oh, and I were the fairest lady in the shire, and knew you as I know you. Saw you here now. Well, I can say no. Gratitude with all my heart. Yes, but uh, that cannot be. Will you play a wise part? How should I? Sir, refrain from custom for a while now. And she should come to you, I should vow. You shall see her come on her knees creeping. And I pray you, be good to her, soft tears weeping. Well, what if she comes out? Well, in faith and farewell she. Oh, if ye be wroth, ye may avenge it be. Yea, by cock's precious pot thick I shall deem so do. I will destroy her house and all. And that by and by. Uh, but in the mean space, I would be avenged on that vile scribbler who did my wooing. <coughs> ah, scribbler, say you. Aye, for truly that he is. I will bring him to you. Yes, for though he had as many lives as a thousand widows and a thousand wives, a thousand lions and a thousand rats, a thousand wolves and a thousand cats, he shall not escape death on my sword's point, even though I should be torn therefore joint by joint. Oh, uh, and an age, sir, if you will kill him, I will not fetch him. I will not in such extremity set him. You may yet amend, sir, and he an honest man. I pray you, forgive him uh, as much as you can. Well, this once with his life this man shall pass. But I will hew him all to pieces by the man. Hey! You shall probably shall him no harm have, or I will not fetch him. I shall, so God I swear. But I may scold him a good. Oh, yea, do that heartily. Go then. I go and return to the men.